They say there are five stages of grief. Well, I'd like to add one more. Revenge. As we know, Cruella de Vil is pretty villainous. In this film, we get to see how she became the villain we know today. We're on! The story is wholly original in a different time period, being in the late 70s. You have that glint in your eye. What glint? One of the most fun things to explore is her creativity. She is very good at what she does, designing. I want to make art. And I want to make trouble. The character is so much fun and so kind of intoxicating. Once you put this wild black and white hair and this incredible makeup and these completely unique costumes on, you feel like Cruella de Vil. The villains are always kind of the fun ones. <laughs> I'm starting to remember you have a bit of an extreme side. <laughs> Do you have a light? The sheer luck of a movie like this is that the costumes do a lot of your work for you as an actor. Once you put those things on, you feel like Cruella de Vil. Fashion is omnipresent in this film. So we got Academy Award winner Jenny Bevan. She's done it all. Cruella and the Baroness are adversaries in their work. The Baroness is at the height of fashion in the 1970s. How is Cruella going to disrupt the establishment? Fashion is Cruella's tool of revenge. This film is the biggest thing I've ever done. Emma Stone had 47 looks. It was very important to me for Cruella to be black, white, grey and red. <laughs> I want to make art. And I want to make trouble. To first see the entire look of Cruella together, I have to admit, I took a lot of pictures. It was a very narcissistic day which is perfect for Cruella. We'll just have to destroy her, as we have so many before. Find her. The Baroness, I saw very clearly. It's very sculptural. Dior-influenced. We sort of channeled the old screen divas, Joan Crawford, to Elizabeth Taylor. Every single costume, I go, oh, this is my favorite. Oh, no, no, this is my favorite. Jenny has created something really special. <laughs> I'm starting to remember. You have a bit of an extreme side. <laughs> Buddy, don't play with a strange rubber dog. I don't even know you. I'm Jasper. Pleased to meet you. Say hello, Horace. I am not saying hello. Come in, will you? There's no way. Come with me. Leave the bag. I'm <laughs> calling the A thousand apologies. Horace, no! I'm calling the police. <gasps> Vanborn. <sighs> Stay here. Don't touch anything. She's coming. The Baroness. What? She's coming. Battle stations, everyone! Action! Baroness designs stunned with her reinvention of the A line with a bias cut and higher line that reshapes the silhouette. In such an audacious fashion, the audience broke into rapturous applause at first sight. She really is a genius. I'll read that last bit again. She really is a genius.
a triumph again. So you'll find. Pasty. I say. Speaking, I, I, I think you nicked me. Mm. Fabrics, can you give me red like that? Mm. All right. How do I look? Fabrics. Oh, I know that. Show me. How would you have done it? on this idiot delivery man.
Great, that's good. Cool. Thank you. Hi, Fred. Hi. How you doing? Good. <laughs> It's very, very exciting. It's pretty surreal. I mean, this is the first time I've I've dressed up in um, a year and a half, so <laughs> it feels a little uh, like I'm hallucinating. But um, it's it's so exciting to share this movie. We're all really proud of this movie, and um, and it was such a great experience making it that you know I'm excited for people to see it. Yes, I am so excited that we get to do this because I feel like this is exactly the type of film that people kind of want this kind of you know this return to glamour and that sort of thing I mean I also just looking around and seeing how many people have embraced the theme you know people are wearing there's polka dots and everyone's in black and white yeah and then the red I think it's so I think it's kind of tells you that we're ready to sort of have fun ready to have something that's celebratory and also maybe we're ready to be done with sweats I don't know maybe I mean, this movie was made for the big screen, so we're very excited if people are comfortable to go see it in theaters and the costumes and the hair and makeup and the sound, the music, the cinematography, all of it, I think is, um, is really deeply enjoyed on the big screen and that's my favorite way to see movies, so I hope, I hope people go see it. So this film, I think if you feel comfortable or you, it's accessible to you, you have to see it on a big screen. I mean, the level of detail in the costumes, Jenny Bevan, who de designed everything, has put in so much work, there's so much detail. Our set designer, um, our Fiona, she just, the whole thing is such a spectacle and it's so grand. I think the best way to enjoy it is on a big screen so you can really take in everything that's coming at you. I think a lot of it is a testament to Craig Gillespie, our director, because he is he's someone who can explain the tone that he's thinking of and actually execute that tone, which is more rare than you might think. I mean, it's very hard to do, um, but it's so fast paced and fun and lively throughout the whole thing. But Jenny Bevan, the costume designer, is a genius. And Nadia Stacy, who did the hair and makeup, is also a genius. So it was like, and Fiona, who did the production design, it, there were so many incredible artists that worked on this movie and I think everybody was really at the top of their game and really um, just it, it was incredible to see them just get the kind of license to fly free with what they were coming up with for this character and for the Baroness and just the whole world of, of Cruella and um, yeah so it's a it's a very special project. Well, it's so lovely seeing the fans and seeing people embrace this new movie because obviously there have been past iterations of it. There's been an animation, there were the Glenn Close movies. And it's really fun just seeing, it's almost like a whole different generation getting to experience this in their own way. So this for them will be the beginning. They get to experience the origin story with us as well. This movie is a lot of fun. She is, of course, Cruella de Vil, who is a very evil character. <laughs> like the most evil maybe in the Disney canon. But, uh, but the movie is a reimagining of this, of this classic character and I think it's a lot of fun. It's very exciting and fast paced. And after the really crazy year we've had, if you're looking for something that is really fun and to you know, just, just forget about the world for two hours and to be immersed in 70s London and these capers and cons and all of the things that Cruella and Jasper and Horace get up to, then um, I think this is a, a great a great place to go. The thing I'm most excited for for audiences when they watch is I think everyone will be pleasantly surprised by how dark the film is. I think it's it you get all the things you expect from a Disney movie. You get you know incredible sets, you get incredible costume, but it's just a little bit darker than what people know, and I think that's that's really exciting to be part of.